the fight and tying it up and you know draw positive on there. Yeah, and I told the guys after the game, you know, I'm really proud of the effort that we put forward. You know, we obviously didn't get what we wanted out of the series in terms of uh, extending it beyond three games, but. Um, you know, from, from start to finish, I thought we played pretty darn well. And you're going to have ups and downs in the series. And, you know, they're a team that made it to the Calder Cup Finals last year for a reason. They do the little things really well and uh, executed in some areas with the game on the line that, that were the difference. But um, you know, I was really proud of the way our guys played. I thought our compete level was through the roof. I don't think anybody gave us much of a chance going into the series. and. I can at least, you know, sleep knowing the fact that uh, Toronto knew they were in a series here. You know, I think they know that uh, it, it was a difficult series and they had to fight hard for it. And our guys fought really hard and we, we ended up on the wrong end, but I'm really proud of the way they played. On that note, is there almost a sense of disbelief because it ended the way it's been? Yeah, you know, I, it, it's um, when you have two good teams playing, uh, it's, it's the small things that, that are going to be the difference now, you know, the biggest thing coming in were the special teams and, and uh, you know, you get three power plays for them in the first and two for us and, and I kind of thought, oh, here we go again. Um, but the game kind of settled down and it was five on five and, and we've, to me, we've been the better team five on five. Uh, it's tough getting to their net. They've got a big D core back there and they've got a lot of experience and, and that was probably the difference tonight uh, as well as probably other points of the series. but. Um, yeah, you know, obviously a little bit of disbelief, but, you know, again, it's uh, it's at least uh, good for us, I think, to, to walk out of the rink holding our head high knowing that we gave it everything we had. Has there been a change in Zemgus Gergensen's game? I mean, he just really turned it on in the playoffs, but he said he's been doing the same thing the whole year. Well, there was a little bit more reward to it in terms of him being able to finish. I mean, three goals in three games was, was great for him. And I, more than anything that I've seen is just his confidence uh, with the puck has, has been through the roof. Even the last two months, he always plays hard. He always plays through people. He's tough to play against. Um, but you can see that confidence when he has the puck that, that he knows that he can make that extra move and make a play with it as opposed to early in the season, I think the game was going so fast in his mind all the time because of the level and the pace of play. So uh, his development has, has gone, to me, it's just off the charts what he's been able to do this year. Did you expect him to be a difference maker? No, not the way he was. I, I, you know, this is, a, this is a man's league, and for a 19-year-old kid to, to be probably, I thought him and Larson, Larson was outstanding tonight too. Uh, I thought those two guys were probably our best forwards from from start to finish in this uh, in this series. And for guys that young to be able to play in this league against that D core and, and be as effective as they were was really surprising to me. Not not surprising, but I, I, I was happy for him. Let's put it that way. It seemed like Grigorenko actually had some good chances tonight as well, so you have to be proud of what he did as well. Yeah, you know, and, and I think he's in a little bit different situation. I think there's always that. Uh, that time to get used to playing on a team. This is the first time he's ever played in this rink. You know, you don't think of little things like that when uh, you think of a guy like him. But you know, he's spent two days in our locker room. Uh, he's played two games with us, one practice, and uh, yeah, you can see there's a lot there. I, I think if you know, he's a guy just like Zemgus or, or Lars, who if you have him for a long period of time, boy, they're gonna they're gonna do some special things. I think it was a difficult situation for him, but he did pretty well with it. How much did it mean to Zemgis to be around guys like uh, Cody McCormick and Matt Ellis, Nick Tarnaski? I mean, Zemgis leaves with a big star on his nose, which seems appropriate, right? He looks a little like Cody McCormick. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I think that that's, you know, an important thing for any successful American Hockey League team is to have those guys, the, the Tarnaskis, the McCormicks, the Ellis's, the guys that you can look up to um, that are going to set the example of here's what it takes to play at this level, and here's what it takes to make a career out of this game, and here's what it takes to make to get to the next level and be successful at all all those things. And um, I, I, I think that we had a huge benefit um, after I was able to take over and to get Matt Ellis and Cody McCormick here and kind of combine them with the leadership that we already had with Tarnaski and Van Carey. Uh, that was an unbelievable learning experience for those guys. And McCormick seemed to change the pace of the game in the second period. And he's done that for me. He's done that 
call three games of the series. I mean, he, we asked, uh, you know, our guys to, we, we had to step it up physically, we thought, to, to be effective against Toronto. I thought we were way too passive in the way that we played them early in the year. We gave them way too much speed, and, and we wanted to be the aggressors. We wanted to go after them, and that, Cody O'Cormick led the, led the charge, as you could see, and, um, you know, he, he's a guy who, when defensemen go back to get the puck, they know he's coming. And then after the whistle, they know that he's going to be there all the time. So he, he really set the tone for us, I thought. And he gives other players confidence when he does it, just like Tarnaski does. Like, that gives guys confidence that they can go out there and they can feel good about themselves and they get a little bit more leeway. So it was, it was a huge part for us. The whole third period, I mean, you were coming at him, coming at him. Finally, you get one. I mean, did it have a different feel that maybe we finally, you know, have something that I got over them? Yeah. Um, well, I, I never really thought of it that way. I, I did, you know, I, I thought we were, well, we were playing well enough to win the hockey game. And, and I thought this really all three games. Um, but tonight, definitely, you get that feel of, all right, we finally tied it up. We're, we got four minutes left to go in the game. Um, we're going to keep pushing here. If we keep playing our game, we're going to break through. And, you know, it, it's again, it's a little thing. It's a face-off play where, you know, they obviously find a lane down there and, and gets a stick on it. It was a really good tip. Um, you know, so it, those are the little things that determine hockey games, and unfortunately we were on the wrong end of it. What did uh, you learn about yourself as a coach throughout this whole process, and especially coaching playoff hockey? Well, I think the biggest thing for me is um, I think that when you first get in the position that I was in, you worry about trying to do everything all the time. And at this level, and, and me and, and the rest of our staff have talked about this a lot, is patience is a virtue here. You can really get caught up in trying to correct everything all the time and trying to teach everything all the time. And really the important thing is, is teach when guys are ready to learn, um, but you also have to let them make mistakes. And, and they have to figure some things out on their own, especially and we keep going back to this with the leadership group that we had here. I didn't have to do everything all the time. McCormick, Ellis, Mancari, Tarnaski, they could take care of a lot of those. Even Leggio uh, at, at the same time. This guy has been around a long time. He's won a championship overseas. These guys know what it takes. So you can lean on them a little bit more, and they can kind of police the locker room for you. So I think that was the biggest thing that I learned is that sometimes you got to step back a little bit and, and let things kind of work themselves out. Thank you. Thank you.